Royal watchers will be delighted to hear that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are returning to the royal circuit soon. Kensington Palace has announced Prince William's first post-summer holiday engagement, and it's a sporty one. On Friday 6 September, William will visit Hendon Football Club in Kingsbury, London to learn more about the club's mental health outreach initiatives, as part of the Royals' Heads Up campaign. Gate and William, who is an Aston Villa fan, officially launched the campaign alongside the Football Association in early August. The aim is to help show the nation that mental health is just as important as physical health. The initiative will run throughout the 2019-20 season to get all football fans, in particular men, talking about their mental health. As for Kate, Kensington Palace has yet to announce her first engagement following the summer holidays. But it's likely royal fans will be able to catch a glimpse of the Duchess when she drops off her daughter Princess Charlotte on her first day of school at Thomas's Battersea on Thursday 5th of September. Charlotte, 4, is joining her big brother Prince George at big school, the six-year-old future king will be starting year two while Charlotte will join reception. The Cambridges have been enjoying the second leg of their summer break in Balmoral, Scotland where they've been holidaying with the Queen. Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Camilla and other members of the royal family. William and Kate were spotted attending church on Sunday, with the Duchess looking as stylish as ever in a green coat and matching hat. The Cambridges had the honour of riding to Craddy Kirk in the same car as the monarch. Earlier this summer, William and Kate broke with tradition as they carried out an engagement midsummer. The royals usually take off a few weeks in July and August, this year spending a couple of weeks in Mystique, but they returned to the UK in early August to attend the King's Cup Regatta. William and Kate, both keen sailors, went head-to-head -head in the charity sailing race. Sadly for the mum of three, Kate's team lost and she was awarded a giant wooden spoon. Prince William, the president of the Football Association, will officially get back to work on September 6. According to the latest statement released by Kensington Palace, in two weeks, the Duke of Cambridge will head to Hendon Football Club in Kingsbury, London, to learn which mental health outreach initiatives the semi-professional football club is promoting. Kensington Palace wrote on Twitter, the Duke of Cambridge, at FA President, will visit at Hendon FC on Friday 6 September to learn more of the club's mental health outreach initiatives, as part of the hashtag Heads Up campaign. The visit to the team, currently members of the Southern League Premier Division South, is part of the Heads Up campaign launched by Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, in late July. The Royals, who have focused much of their charitable work on changing the conversation around mental health, have created a football season-long campaign to raise awareness on mental health issues. Its aim is to get all football fans to open up about mental health, merging together William's love for the sport and his concern about mental well-being. Upon launching the initiative, Prince William said, Over the next year, leading up to the 2020 FA Cup final, we are going to use football's biggest platform to get the country talking. A season-long campaign where we will be encouraging fans to talk about their mental health. We will use our national game to spread the message that mental health isn't a sad, difficult topic. Is part of everyday life. Kensington Palace described Heads Up on its official Instagram account saying in a statement, This Sunday's FA Community Shield between Liverpool and Manchester City will kick off the hashtag Heads Up campaign a season of activities aimed at driving the biggest ever conversation on mental health. Heads Up, launched by the Football Association and at Heads Underscore Together, and spearheaded by the Duke of Cambridge, will harness the influence and popularity of football to help show the nation that we all have mental health, and it is just as important as physical health. The campaign will strive to raise awareness, spark conversation and signpost support for those in need. While William's official diary starts to fill up, Kate has still to announce her return to work following the Cambridge's Balmoral retreat. But, even if she won't be stepping out for an official event any time soon, royal fans will likely be able to see the Duchess on September 5. On that day, Princess Charlotte will start school with her brother Prince George at St. Thomas's Battersea, and Kate will likely be dropping them off. Last year, 
Prince William had to take little George to school alone as Kate was suffering from severe nausea caused by the pregnancy of Prince Louis. This will be four-year-old Charlotte's first year, while Prince George is starting his third. While Charlotte has demonstrated to be quite outspoken and will likely make it on her own, Prince George will be surely available to lend his sister a hand when in need, according to a royal biographer. Penny Jr. told, Prince George is a very protective and lovely older brother. I'm sure he'll look after his little sister and take great pride in showing her the ropes. Kensington Palace confirmed in May William and Kate had decided to enroll Charlotte at the same school attended by Prince George. The little Cambridge was welcomed by the school's headmaster, Simon O'Malley. He said, We are delighted that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have decided that Princess Charlotte will join her elder brother Prince George at Thomas's Battersea. We greatly look forward to welcoming her and all of our new pupils to the school in September.